Hey everyone, how you doing? We just had the D4 live campfire stream on season five, and it was a reiteration and an explanation into what's coming on August 6th for season five. Before we get into the details, this is going to be a small summary for those of you that have not watched or been able to watch the season five campfire chat. I'm just going to give you an overview, a very quick overview, and I'm going to warn you right now, I'm not going to get into the minutia of the class balance updates because there was a lot and there's a lot of other content creators that do a much deeper dive on that. So if that's what you're looking for, this video is not for you, but you're more than welcome to watch. What this video is going to do is just, again, give you like a two minute version, well, five minute version, we'll see. I can never keep it short. Um, on the summary of everything that was discussed from, you know, a high level. And then I'm going to give you my take and commentary on what I think season five and beyond is going to look like from my perspective. So if that's of interest to you, stick around. We're going to get into season five Diablo four. But before we get into that, a lot of you continue to watch my content, but yet do not subscribe. If you can find it in your heart to hit that subscription button. I would appreciate the support of my content. All right, let's get into the details. All right, so I'm going to try to do this in a rapid fire pace. This way you guys can get this done quickly. The campfire chat started off with basically them acknowledging that the PTR was not really, could have been a lot better. Uh, and there was a lot of struggles, a lot of complaints about players having to do more than what needed to be done. Instead of just testing the mechanics, we were, we had to work to get to that point. And a lot of time was wasted. We have a limited time frame when it comes to these, the PTR testing, it's only a week long. Um, so they've acknowledged that and they are gonna make improvements in the future for future PTR. So they heard the feedback and they're gonna make changes. So we can get into the testing right away because uh, there was a lot of issues, like I said. So that's one of the first things that they addressed. And then they got into all the changes and I got all the PowerPoint slides here from the presentation that we're just gonna whip right through. So Infernal Horde updates, they're gonna improve access to the Infernal Hordes. The compass, which was a big issue during the PTR, the drop rates have been updated so players can earn four to five per hour. Hell Tide, 50% from item chests, 100% from mystery steel, doomsayer chests. So compasses are going to be a lot more accessible and drop in just natural gameplay. Nightmare Dungeons and Whispers, 75% from dungeon completion. So the compass drop rate, big time improvement. The compass tiers, four to eight. And by the way, tier eight is the highest drop naturally in higher tiered activities, Nightmare Dungeons and the Pit. So big W. Compasses are also craftable with Sigil Power and Forgotten Souls. Compasses are still upgradable with Abyssal Scrolls for players on the go another w first compass that drops from the internal quest better matches the player's level infernal hordes the actual mechanic itself the pacing the wave the combat all improved they also fixed the boss's health bugs that caused all bosses to be super tanky they fixed a bug where difficulty wasn't scaling appropriately they increased the pace of the mini event the mini events sorry the spawn rates at the higher tiers increased monster spawn rates to increase the feeling of being overwhelmed they reduced the wave timer i believe it was Oh, there you go 90 seconds to 60 seconds so higher density quicker waves like all w's and they retuned the wave count based on the shorter timer big w easier to pick up burning ether our pets are going to do the work for us and continuing on the fernal hordes update they also rewards improved across the board they raised the minimum amount of burning ether earned from a single run all sources dropped a minimum of two uh, instead of one ether drops from defeating the fell council so the bosses fell council is the end boss of the infernal horde mechanic that's going to drop ether as well and when we go to open up the chest aka the spoils of hell there's going to be greater equipment um spoils of greater equipment is going to be 60 ether spoils of equipment and spoils of materials is going to cost us 20 ether so all reduced retuned all rewards to feel like more generous 
so that the minimum amount of ether earned better rewards the time invested in that run this is another big bone of contention basically throughout all of diablo 4 and our complaints is that the fact that our time commitment the level of difficulty never correlates with the end result and the reward so this is a huge huge w now it looks like they're paying attention and that the reward is going to match the effort and the level of difficulty the max amount of ether earned between rewards the effort spent optimizing ether and the rewards scale more aggressively from tier one to tier eight hell tides being full hearts they're readjusting the drop rate of Baneful Hearts to close the gap between what players had in Season 5 PTR and Season 4. This includes bumping the drop rates off chests, guaranteed heart drops off Helltide Commanders, include, hearted, include heart drops in world bosses, multiple drop. It is three if in the zone, small drop chance to local events, mastery chests, and harbingers. Blood Maiden in World Tier 1 and 2 Baneful Heart requirements are reduced. Three to two. Tortured Gifts. Cost in World Tier 1 and 2 has been reduced from 100 to 75. Whispers, easier to complete in one subzone, always grants 10 Grim Favor. So getting those Whisper caches is going to be quicker and easier. Profane Mind Cage, we thought it was out. Well, it's back in. It's going to come back for Season 5. This will stack up to three times in Season 5. And this is seasonal only. It won't be available on the Eternal Realm. And for those of you that don't know, Profane Mind Cage, uh, when you consume it, it increases the level of the enemies you're fighting by 10 levels. And that was the cap. We can now stack it three times. In essence, stacking the level of enemies by three times. Three times 10 is 30. So you can potentially fight enemies that are 30 levels above you and gain all that XP from that. So big, big W. Game updates, legendary drop rates. They're boosting this post level 100 in Hell Tides and Nightmare Dungeons and Infernal Hordes. Big dub. Enchanting no longer costs Angel Breath, instead uses the respective legendary salvage arming coiling wards, weapons, baleful fragments, and jewelry abstract sigils. Crowd control overall reduced CC duration. They reduced it from two and a half and they're making it one and a half. And you can now use potions while CC'd. Game Game updates, world bosses have resilience, so they're gonna get a little beefier, guys. Damage is effectively normalized in this shared world encounter. Bosses, pit bosses damage has been reduced by 66% across the board. I know a lot of people are applauding right now. Shadow, shadow pit boss affix now applies a stacking debuff up to three times. Third stack is final stack and damage will be the same as loot reborn. Removes some of the one shots that allow for more flexibility ability end game bosses we already know this but they brought it up again can be resummoned without needing to leave the dungeon beast in ice no longer requires a sigil and is much closer to the entrance no more sigil dust for summoning internal players can use leftover sigils to immediately resummon without needing mac cost varshan just malignant heart and internal players can convert old parts to heart at alchemist end game bosses also the boss ladder doesn't drop rare items just additional gold now tormented bosses now drop five times as many boss mats all tormented bosses have a better chance of dropping a mythic cost to summon reduced to one stygian stygian however you want to pronounce it stone experience xp bonus from killing higher level monsters is no longer cap and that's going back to the profane mind cage boys and girls okay so that is very quick and i'm referring to my notes here there's going to be a new reputation track i believe it's called the mother's gift and that's going to give us more opportunity to earn rewards and stuff so that's coming. Uh, as far as the balance updates, I'm going to say this one thing. Like I said, they talked about it a lot. Uh, but the one thing I do want to mention around the, the, the balance updates is the fact that they're changing damage to all the core stats for all the classes. Now, the barb stayed the same. It's too strong, so they didn't really do anything with it. I know they did a lot of other stuff, so don't come at me with that. I know Barb got a lot of changes, but I'm talking about this one specific damage to core stats. So the Barb stayed the same. Rogue got a slight buff. Sorks, Necro, and Druid got big buffs to the core stats, which 
it's needed. Those builds are atrocious uh, compared to the barb. So good on uh, Blizzard for doing this. There was a massive discussion on uniques in general, and there's going to be dramatic changes to good dramatic changes to all the uniques and all of them are getting an update. Now, a couple of things that they talked about briefly as far as future stuff, there's a possible skill tree upgrade that may be buffed in the future. There's tempering improvements coming. And I have to say, I wish they would have put a little bit more priority on the tempering, but it is what it is. Season five. Now, we all know anyone that participated in season four, uh, <laughs> There was no pre-download, if memory serves me correct. And it was quite a bone of contention with a lot of players, especially for the ones that have slow computers. So uh, Blizzard heard us loud and clear, and there's now going to be a one hour pre-download, one hour prior to season five, in order for all of us to download the game. Good news, they talked very generically about social feature updates coming soon and um stay tuned for paragon board changes now there's been a lot of there's been a lot of rumors around the paragon board changes but i'm not going to get into that uh we'll see what happens but that's basically again very brief summary of the campfire chat okay i know i didn't i know i didn't get it all guys so relax. I have to say, I got to applaud Blizzard for doing what they're doing. They are getting a lot more aggressive than normal. They've really, as, as far as I'm concerned, in the past, they've always dragged their feet with implementing and changing and listening, to be quite honest, to the player feedback. And for a season that was going to look like a buffer season, shortened season like i mentioned before they have really put a lot on the table and i want to applaud them for that i think there's a lot that they've done in season five to improve the game and i think the players are going to appreciate that and that is going to reap they're going to reap the benefits of that in season five so i think they deserve a big dub for adding and doing what they're doing now remember in the light of all this that being season five there is a major, their first expansion in the horizon. And, you know, they got to get that right as well. So they are juggling a lot of things right now. And the fact that they put all this stuff on the table for season five, I think deserves to be applauded. So let me know what you think. Are you, is this enough for you to play season five? What are you most excited about season five? I would love to hear your thoughts. Okay get into the comments section. I would love to hear whether or not you're gonna be playing season five and what you're most excited about season five. All right, everybody, that'll do it. We'll see you in Sanctuary. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.